Today I'm going to demonstrate the durability of our black diamond finish. We often get asked if it's going to chip, flake, or peel off, and uh, the quick answer to that is no, it, it will not. It's, uh, it's not really uh, a coating in a sense because it's actually carbon atoms that have been bonded to the titanium and it's uh, on an atomic level, so it's not, uh, there's not going to be no gaps and there's no way for the carbon to become separated from the titanium and uh, the the general usage you know in pockets with keys coins uh, that type of thing is, is no problem uh, the only way to damage it is if you take a, a sharp knife and you drive the point into the money clip and you start scraping along it and uh, in that case you you can actually remove the uh, coating along with the underlying titanium uh, but you're not going to be able to separate the coating from the titanium. That's why uh, you know we don't use a powder coat or a plating process because with those operations, it's uh, unfortunate. But they uh, they can chip, peel, or flake, and uh, they are they are lower cost. But uh, unfortunately, they're not as durable. And uh, for that reason, we've uh, we've opted to go with a very durable finish because we don't want this looking uh, bad in six months or a year. We want our products to keep looking good for uh, for many many years, and um, a quick demonstration. I'll take a just a penny here and uh, scrape along there, and you can see it looks uh, it looks like it's scratched, um, but I can just go uh, go along and I can scratch off that that copper, and uh, that's actually just a material from the penny being. Uh, rubbed off onto the uh, the coating. Uh, another uh, common uh, issue is you have a soft key. Uh, for example, this one I think is made of uh, brass and uh, you can just run it along here and it really looks like a scratch. We've had uh, people actually return a money clip and uh, saying it was scratched. We've investigated and uh, we've just been able to to simply rub it out. Now I am pressing fairly hard, and uh, you know it's it especially uh, it tends to be with keys. The 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 soft material sometimes really uh, gets onto that coating, so you're gonna have to you know really uh, rub on it to get it off. It, it depends what keys you carry. If you're carrying uh, like the silver uh, keys, they don't tend to rub off on this as much. It's just the uh, the softer brass and pennies, those are the uh, things that can uh, tend to make marks. Our basic goal with our money clips is you should be able to carry them in your pocket. We normally recommend carrying our money clips in your front right pocket or left pocket uh, along with your keys and your coins and then in your other front pocket you can carry your phone. That leaves your back pockets empty. You're not going to have to sit down and sit on a you know a wallet or money clip or keys or coins or anything like that the only thing in your back pocket uh should be your uh uh you know maybe receipts or something like that that you uh that you just just kind of put back there temporarily so definitely this is designed for carrying with keys uh even this is our titanium shark uh keychain and you can see like you know we're uh you know you're not going to uh, you're not going to damage this coating. Um, it is literally as durable as the underlying titanium. So uh, unless you're doing something that is going to gouge the titanium, then you're you're not going to gouge the coating. And um, if you uh, you're really concerned, we do have our uh, natural titanium finish, and uh, that's uh, that's not. Just a tumble finish. It's a really high-end, nice, good-looking finish. Uh, it's a natural titanium, and uh, we've just done processes to make it look good. That's not going to. Uh, that's not going to wear, uh, or at least you know, if it does over 10, 20 years, it's only more titanium underneath. So uh, you're always going to maintain that uh, that finish. Uh, any questions? Let us know. And um, yeah, thanks again for watching.